Finally, let's talk about unity. Unity refers to the way that elements within a drawing or painting work together in order to create a cohesive whole. A unified composition can feel harmonious and cohesive, whereas a disjointed composition can feel chaotic and disconnected. You can create unity within your drawings by using these three elements. We've got proximity, alignment and repetition. Okay, so let me explain alignment, repetition and proximity in a bit more depth to give you a better understanding. So I'll, I'll be showing you how I'll be doing this in the demonstration. Do feel free to follow along. If not, watch what I'm doing and then once I've completed it, you can have a go at this too. Okay, so let me just run through proximity, repetition and alignment with you. So proximity, like I said, refers to how close objects are together. This, this is what you call proximity. So having, having a lot of things close together. Secondly, we have repetition. So this could be in the form of using the same shape. So say, say you're building something up with a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of shapes, which are the same. Um, this is repetition. I like to use it in my illustrations when I'm creating, um, say a bunch of bushes or foliage. This is how I like to use it in my illustrations. And then finally, we have got alignment. So this refers to having objects in the page, similar to like what we did in the first example, having things aligned. So right now with the edge of this and the edge of this, I'm lining lining things up and then say, it's a bigger, bigger square, a bigger one. It's a bigger square in the corner by lining everything up. So as you can see, there's like a invisible line lining those two up. And then there's an invisible line lining that up and then same there and then same, same again there. So this is what is referred to uh, when I'm talking about alignment. So this is something to take in mind. I'm going to show you a few examples now of how you can incorporate these into your work in order to make the whole composition uh, work well together and feel unified. So here's an example of something I like to do. So talking about repetition, when I'm creating say my bushes, I like to use nice big flowy lines and then even even some of the things coming off them, I had to keep them all quite quite repetitive as well. This is one way that you can incorporate. Even like sometimes I just like to add a random a random pattern into my work. This is a way of keeping it repetitive. Secondly, so say unity. So as you can see here, all the foliage is here together, keeping these all in the same place. Helps with the proximity. Again, here's me using repetitiveness in order to make it feel nice and unified. Show you a, another example. So say I was, I was drawing um, a little a little egg with a face. So one way that I can make this repetitive is to include other similar shapes or other similar features. Um, so say there could be a bunch of a bunch of little little eggs, and then say with regards to proximity, I put all the eggs together. Even to maintain the nice smooth shapes, I could do a bunch of clouds which are made up of circles too. Again, this is another way of keeping keeping the full composition um, nice and unified. And now with regards to alignment, I could add a little bush lining up with the bottom of the egg, just again to make that whole thing feel like it's working together in unison. So I'd like you to go in and now practice this. Um, play around, just draw. You can draw anything simple. There you can draw, you can draw just, say, just say a leaf. And then you can go in and fill the remainings in. So you can go in and just have a little play around with this concept. Remember the three main ones are proximity, repetition and alignment. Here's a little tip that I like to use before actually going in and drawing the full drawing is to really pay attention and keep in mind and make a conscious decision to include repetitive elements, whether that's the shape of things, the way that things are aligned or how close things are to each other. This is something that allows my drawings to feel unified before I get further into the sketch. Okay, that's it for Unity and all the composition lessons that we've just covered. In this lesson, I went through Unity, what it is, and the three elements, which are proximity, alignment, and repetition, which you can use within your drawings whilst creating your work. We went through a little demonstration followed by an exercise which you took part in. And like previously, do upload it down below if you want feedback on this particular part of this class. I will be providing feedback once you do upload it down below in the project panel. The three composition lessons that we have covered can take some time to get your head around. So do practice. If you do feel like you want to watch the previous ones again and then take this one again, do feel free to do that as it can take some time just to get used to understanding what it means by balanced contrast and unity. Okay, that's it for this section of the class. We've just covered the composition. In the next lesson, we're going to be going on to the class project where we'll be applying everything we've learned from perspective, value and composition, and you'll be creating your own drawing from this. Mm -hmm.